Now time for first alert weather and, and don't freak out. <laughs> uh, uh, but there is the chance of snow Just in a chance. Sacramento. Yeah, the last time we picked up uh, measurable snowfall was uh, February 1976 for Sacramento. Okay. So, so we could February. be looking at okay. a little rain and snow mix. I don't know if it's going to be measurable. Maybe just a trace, right? A trace is less than a tenth. Uh, so in settled weather, returning to the forecast, wet, windy, and cold. Roseville could see a rain and snow mix. Significant snowfall expected for the foothills, especially above 1,000 feet. We'll take a look at that winter storm warning in just a few moments. And for the Sierra, multiple feet of snowfall expected. Now, before we get to the storm, we do have to talk about today. Yesterday was 71. Today we're back in the 60s for the Delta in the Valley with plenty of sunshine expected. Today winds are expected to pick up. Wind advisor in effect all the way to 10 o'clock tonight. It begins 10 o'clock this morning. Winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. What causes wind? Well, it's a difference in pressure systems from high pressure to low pressure. And the bigger the difference between those two systems, the stronger the wind. So today winds are expected to be pretty uh, substantial because of this guy. Yeah, a pretty strong low pressure system in the Gulf of Alaska and different weather disturbances are going to be rotating around it. So this is where we carve out the difference between showers versus rainfall because I'm predicting showers. Rain is continuous wet weather that covers a very large area. Showers tend to be off and on with rapid changes in intensity, and that is what is in our forecast. You can see a few showers, kind of spotty showers coming in. They're going to be rotating around that low pressure system beginning today, still in the forecast for Wednesday, really off and on. Some intensity could pick up, especially when you move into uh, late Thursday into Friday as that low pressure system sinks down to the south. And we do have a winter storm warning in effect. Areas above a 3,000 feet in elevation could see several feet, but if you're around 1,000 feet in elevation, you are also looking at measurable snowfall. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Thursday and Friday expected to be the most impactful days. So those are our first alert action days. That's your weather for your first alert traffic. Hi, Tina. Hi there. Thanks, Tracy.